How to remove all the Vethernet, default switch, once and for all? As in the screenshot above, I don't know why the Vethernet, default switch, on my Windows 10 laptop keeps reproducing itself and auto connecting to it every time I shut down and switch on the laptop. Worse is if I switch Wi-Fi networks, it auto connects to the Vethernet, default switch, even when I have pre-disabled it before. Please help me find out the root cause of this problem. For example, why this strange occurrence keeps happening, I suspect it is because I installed Docker? Why I can't seem to delete the Vethernet, default switch, from network connections, why does it keep auto-connecting to Vethernet, default switch, and how to permanently disable it? I just found out that I could easily remove all the Vethernet switches by simply going to Control Panel in GT, Programs in GT, Programs and Features in GT, Turn Windows features on or off on your Windows 10 machine Find the name of the feature slash S you would like to disable in this case, Containers and, optionally, Hyper-V. Which is stated in this article this URL. Just go to Device Manager, Network Adapters, right-click and uninstall. I found a definitive solution. My solution works, even with Hyper-V enabled. Many of us don't want to disable Hyper-V security, and nothing else here worked for me on Windows 10 2004, everything is replaced on reboot, even NetBIOS settings which increase attack surface, and it's a pain to configure potentially hundreds of adapters every single time. Even automating with NSBind all settings revert on reboot. One way to disable these adapters literally once and for all is to disable DNSKKK, DNS client, service and use a third-party DNS service such as Acrylic, or Simpleden script. Be sure to comb through Acrylic's configuration with a fine-toothed comb because initially your default DNS provider will automatically be set to Google or Cloudflare. Then point Acrylic to your router IP, or preferred DNS server, and set all your adapter's DNS settings to 127.0.0.1. You must disable and escape with regedit here. Computer backslash key underscore local underscore machine backslash system backslash current control set backslash services backslash escape. Set, start to four, and reboot. The only minor caveat is you may see a single adapter constantly and briefly appearing and disappearing under control panel backslash network and internet backslash network connections, and your device manager window will constantly refresh each time it attempts to install adapters. This problem appears to have went away for me after I enabled Dunskake, which was already disabled before I initially started using Hyper-V, then disabled it again. Another caveat, is that initially loading the Windows Store you will get an error, unless you have previously opened the store with Dunskake enabled. After that the store will work indefinitely unless you reset it. Not a big price to pay given how annoying this is, this actually works. I have 160 of these devices, and I don't feel like uninstalling them all by hand. I've used the, this URL to disable them like so. But that's only a disable. This gets an error message.
If you want to support the channel, please consider subscribing.